Many people think that they can brush their gums too hard and if they do so, they're going to get recession. It is a real misconception and today I wanna to break down for you the real things, the things that cause recession and what you can do about it. My name is Dr. Peggy Bound and I'm here today to talk about cleaning your gums effectively and all the pros and cons of, you know, the way we brush and what causes recession. If you'd like to hear more about that, let's get started. The first thing I want you to remember or want you to realize is that our gum tissue is kind of like the seal around our teeth and it really acts as a, as a barrier to bacteria. Our mouths are full of bacteria and there's lots of things that we uh, do to, you know, the bacteria are going to get in on a regular basis. But when we brush our teeth, often our toothbrush will kind of stay up above the gum line or not really get down into that little area around the gums. And if that happens, then you really have a buildup of bacteria down and around the gum line. So three things you should know about gums. The first is that they, um, they act like this barrier. Like I said, it sort of acts like a seal, like a seal around a jar. So if you had something, you know, you, tight, you didn't tighten the jar tightly, you're gonna get see a little bit of ring of uh, mold or bacteria in around the, 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 the rim of the jar. So it's the same thing goes, it's a great way to seal out bacteria. The second thing is that our teeth, if you imagine like a turtleneck around your neck, um, the, the gum tissue comes up like a turtleneck and there's a little area in between the tooth and the turtleneck where the bacteria um, need to be removed on a daily basis and if they're not removed there, then they can build up. And then the last thing is that you really can't cause a lot of recession or cause much damage by brushing too hard or what you see, what you think of as, um, you know, uh, aggressive brushing. A lot of us have switched to soft toothbrushes and we're all well aware of that. But I still find a lot of times our patients will miss these areas and again whether it's conscious or just a fear of losing gum tissue then I really want to address that today because I do see a lot of um, dental decay that happens around gum tissue area and also a constant fear that if we brush too hard then we're going to have you know uh, recession. So the first thing is when we clean our gums, we have to, first of all, there's two places that we can clean this turtleneck or this area that comes between our gums. One is through flossing. So flossing, we're gonna get the, the floss right down inside until it actually disappears and kind of wrap it around the tooth. And then it's going to really uh, rub the floss up against the wall of the tooth. There's hard tooth structure below the gum tissue and it needs to be broken up. The other way is to, flatten out the bristles or sort of create like a modified angle or a 45 degree angle of the bristles against the tooth and that's going to kind of sweep down inside the gum tissue. When you're doing these two techniques you're really not going to cause recession. It's not, um, the, the tissue is much more durable than you think and it honestly uh, it's usually more likely other reasons why you would, why you would see uh, gum loss or inflammation. Now, speaking of that, inflammation uh, can occur first if you're not removing that bacteria that's collecting down and around the gum line and in that little turtleneck of tissue. And that is when you're going to see redness in your gums. You're going to see a little bit of, um, could be puffiness, but you're also going to see um, bleeding. So if you've ever been brushing or flossing and you really notice that your gums are bleeding, there's a reason for that and it's because there's little ulcerations that are actually formed inside in that area. And any, like any ulcer, an ulcer will bleed and it will kind of cause this uh, release of, of uh, you know, fluid like blood and everything like that that comes out and then it makes you sometimes stop. So you, if you have constant inflammation in your gums, you can, it can lead to a deepening of this area around the tooth and it can also lead to a, like a lowering of the gum tissue, which could then eventually expose your roots. But there's really another reason as well why recession will really occur. And that is because our teeth, when they come together, they are supposed to fit together. If you think about it and you put your teeth together, they're supposed to fit together in a very natural way. And just because all of our teeth come in, you know, into our mouths in a certain form, it doesn't mean that they actually work together, the top and the bottom work together properly. 
There's all kinds of reasons, I can talk about this another day, why the teeth don't fit together properly or why they come in properly. But ultimately, when the teeth are hitting each other or maybe you're clenching or you're putting a lot of force on the teeth, you're actually um, flexing the, the neck of the tooth. And it's that flexing right at that neck of the tooth that's actually going to cause your gums to experience pressure and inflammation and it can cause recession as well. So often we'll see a little bit more areas of recession and tooth wear in teeth that are not brushed too hard, but they're actually under more force. Uh, another way to think about this, or if you've ever noticed, maybe you do have recession, you'll see that you may have recession on just one or two particular teeth. Now it's unlikely that you actually brush that one tooth too hard or you, you, know, you brush those teeth any harder than you brush any others any others so you know it's not a good thing to think about well i shouldn't brush my gums or i shouldn't you know i should be much more careful around my gums because it could cause recession it's more likely that it's important that you may have to look at the you know the way the teeth are fitting together and what they're doing when you're chewing or maybe you're clenching and grinding maybe it's a habit that you're doing and if you if you maybe you want to talk to your dentist about this or you want to have your uh, an oral health scan where we can look at your bite specifically, but usually we can find other factors as to why you may be getting recession other than, um, you know, again, brushing too hard. So the key things to remember is that our gum tissue is really just like a barrier. It's a great way to help protect the tooth, keep it from getting dental decay. But in fact, if it's not cleaned out regularly, it's going to uh, get inflamed and may be, you, you may get some gum tissue loss because of it. It's a great question if you want to, you know, ask your hygienist. I know it's been a while since we've seen uh, some of our, our uh, dental team personnel, but you know, if this is something that concerns you, don't just avoid the area. I guess I just want to make sure I raise awareness about this because it's uh, something that we commonly see and there is a misconception amongst the public that by brushing too hard, you're going to cause recession. So I really hope that cleared that up for you today. I do want to give uh, a little plug for this week. We are just doing our soft reopening. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I want to, you know, say that, um, it's, it's sort of a strange type of time because five years ago this very week, we were actually opening for the first time. So here we are doing a grand reopening and because of that, I'm gonna be doing a great promotion on Invisalign. So we're doing 30% off Invisalign. If you wanna check it out, definitely take me up on this offer because it's, gonna, it's not gonna last, it's only till the end of May.